Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I reviewed our last project. We tried to get level 100. I have to put quickly DND &D on and we made it to level 97. Now I have to take a break because um, this uh, 25 maps brought us a lot of blueprints and a lot of de deception contracts and I already had a look on them. There are four of the blueprints which are fully revealed, uh, six which are quite good, which we will reveal. And these ones I will only run this already revealed wing. Um, this will cost some rogue markers. We already invested 150 chaos to for the um, for the map device we took heist on the map device which is six chaos so this were around 25 maps and now i will use all my rogue markers i've got 215,000 left and will squeeze the money out of this blueprints and contracts and i will prepare for this now i would say we start with a uh, deception contracts they are very quick to run i only make them uh, rare just have a look if they are all rare already yes they are and now we look for the mods if they are okay or if there's something problematic for us like reflect elemental damage or minus resistances Avoid elemental ailments for the monsters isn't good too. This is okay. Looks good. Not good. Yep. Burning ground I don't like. I'm not immune to it because I needed other Pantheon points for this build. This looks okay. Everything fine, I would say. Elemental weakness, I don't like. Reflect elemental damage is a not possible for us. Boo. This works not so well. Um, you can run them white, of course, if you only want to have the reveals for Gianna. But I like the items which are dropping course uh, the, for the rogues I can sell them and craft them then this is something I like very much so another 20 chaos down the toilet but we are ready and I'm absolutely sure that we will make our money back I will uh, grab all the loot from the contracts the 14 contracts and the blueprints and then show you the results and of course we will run one interesting blueprint wing together um, and I report back when I'm at this point of this project. I'm gonna quickly show you one contract, one deception contract. I have a kind of a trick why I'm so fast. I With every build I play a setup which is um, face run with increased duration and efficacy and phase run is level 21 with quality increased duration too and so i have perma phase run when it runs out you will see it quickly it starts again so i've got phasing all the time and i've got um, uh, invisibility and this makes it really easy to run these contracts. We will now run to the end, grab the highest target and run out and you will see this goes quite fast. When I kill some mobs in between, I also trigger my Quicksilver flask like this. So I leave a totem from time to time. We are nearly here. And now we run out. Don't have to fight anymore. Just get out. 
If you use another skill, then your face run will be broken for the moment and you have to start it again. So I don't fight, don't do anything, just run out and sub. I think this is under under a minute and we have this contract done. I normally do it another way. I um, go in and open the divination card chests and a lot of small chests to get all the loot and then get out quickly. Uh, lasted a little bit longer but I want the loot and I like opening chests very much. Okay we did the 14 deception contracts and as you see we got some loot, some stack decks. We can quickly open them. I decided not to sell a single stack deck this league just for fun it makes absolutely sense to sell them this is quite good i think oh, three or four chaos replica item nice the patient that's okay wonderful quickly put them away and should go in our div divination card stash tab and we continue Quick gamble is always good. Nothing interesting so far. Um, if I would have sold my uh, stack decks I got so far, I would for sure got 50 divines. But I like the gamble and this league I don't do it. Just having fun not going for efficiency or something like that just playing the game as i like it okay there was again nothing and here's already one card which is okay it's the void it should stay in here in our loot overview for this project and Chayula item, no, that isn't so good. It's okay, but not really good. Yeah, we nearly did it. I'm not very lucky this league. Last league I got two apothecary cards, but not this time. Okay, so this is the loot from the contracts, the deception contracts. And now I would say I start with the complicated things first and these are this these uh, blueprints which which have to have to be revealed because they have so much divination card rooms here this is the best one 11 <laughs> we can run one of these sick wings together then um, what i forgot uh, to say was uh, that we are getting experience of course and we are still on the way to level 100 and these 14 contracts uh, gave us 5% experience on the way to level 98. So not so much, but a significantly amount. And I will now uh, prepare these six blueprints, run them and then show you the loot. And I think it may be quite full here after that in a moment. This one wing <laughs> will be funny. We've got five divination card rooms in one ring and I think this will be the wing we run together. Um, we've got very good rogues. So we've got 20% less raising of alert level, 16% um, less raising of alert level and 40% less raising of alert level plus all the equipment these rogues um, we are so I think we can make uh, we can open all of this 10 chests um, we now go in and try to identify the wing we are looking for should be the middle one we will see no this is wrong this isn't the right one too okay and now we are in 
and we will go for it. Perhaps there will be some nice divination card drops without uh, opening the stack decks, we will see. And here we go. Ah, okay, not bad. This is from Tulina here, this golden prayer idol gives you back rogue markers, very nice. Our um, alert level <laughs> not even raised a little bit, very funny. And we can already go in here. Yeah. And the next two chests out of 10, very nice. No great divination cards so far. Sometimes there is something, but not this time. Here we go. Mm -hmm. No, not really. Ah, we haven't got Vindari, so it's not doubled. This makes a difference. Sometimes you get much more with Windary, but we have to open a lot of chests. Uh, kill this big guy here. Uh, and here are the next two chests. And another item from Tulina. And we've got one room left. We quickly open it and look what's in there. Um, and how much stack decks we got from one wing. I don't think it's so impressive, but we will have a look. Uh, we've got here 10, 10, 10. 33. It's not so much. You oft often get nearly 30 when you've got Vindari with you, so that's not, not so big. Okay, I will do the rest of the blueprint and then report back when I've done all eight blueprint with this divination card rooms. Okay, this was the expensive part. I revealed um, the better blueprints with the uh, um, rooms with stack decks with the divination card rooms. And I revealed 15 wings and some rooms, of course, the divination card rooms and the currency rooms. And six wings were already revealed, of course, because it were uh, six blueprints. And the investment for the revealing was around 200 chaos. And this is what we got. This we got from 14, <laughs> 14 contracts. So this is not so great. And this is from the blueprints and you see pff, it's not even comparable. We got stack decks alone for around four divine. I will open them of course. I, I'm not selling them this league. And some nice currencies, some okay divination cards. Nothing great I would say. Um, I will now open this, uh, this stack decks and then uh, show you what was in them if there was something. Yeah, we opened all our 350 stack decks and we got quite unlucky as you see. Uh, we've got only this monochrome which goes for 23 chaos and this the long con which goes for 15 chaos. Of course there are a lot of definition cards which have some words like this chaotic disposition or this the lion. We can quickly have a look how much we got from them the lion uh, just one stack as I can see we can quickly turn it in just for fun um, and we will see if we, if we get this line eyes glare no we got a line eyes remorse yeah okay um, so I'm gonna continue now 
we aren't level 100 still. Um, we got some XP through the contracts and blueprints we ran. Um, quite okay, around 15%. Um, I've got all these uh, blueprints left where I will only run the wing which is already revealed. Maybe reveal some rooms in these wings, um, like divination card rooms. And then I've got this four blueprints which are fully revealed and I will then quickly show you how much we got out of those. Yeah, we ran our 15 random blueprints, just one wing revealed. I revealed uh, also all the currency and divination card rooms. So we had some investment again around, um, I would say, 14k uh, of rogue markers. And this time the results are quite nice. We got some currency, a divine dropped, very nice. Um, one good map, a lot of stacked decks, which I will open in a moment. And we found three uh, unusual gems, which are okay. This should go for around 25 chaos. Um, this one for hmm, 20 chaos, I would say, divergent temple chains. And this summon raging spirit goes for around 84 chaos. So quite nice i will quickly open those perhaps we find something else and then report back yeah there was nothing in this divination cards uh, you may get the impression that we are quite unlucky with divination cards um, i found on the fourth first day a uh, divination card which was worth 10 divine so since then there was nothing at all Perhaps we will have in one of our next videos uh, a discussion what we can do with all these divination cards which are interesting for turning in and so on. But we aren't finished yet with our project. We are at around 20% experience now just from running heist um, on our way to level 98. And I've got four blueprints left and they are fully revealed so this should be some money i will take this out here we uh, already discussed it i will uh, roll them rare and then go for it and we finished our four fully revealed blueprints and the drops are comparable as always some nice currency um, i of course only show you the better currency um, some stacked decks um, one prime regarding a regrading lens, nothing else from all this um, curio rooms at the end. This drop from one monster, from one mob. Um, and the stack decks, don't open them, just sell them. They go for, I think, 1d1 90 piece. Yeah? But of course, we open them. Give me a moment. Yeah, and I actually sell one thing we found in one of the curio rooms one and a half divine very nice all we got out of this stack decks is uh, one times the artist would go for around 31 chaos and won the hunger card for around 12 chaos so nothing great overall i would say we got from all this blueprints and contracts 27 percent experience that's not so much um, we sold some things already uh, so the currency was quite nice N not great but okay oh, i like it i think it's a very consistent money making method uh, as you see i already have a lot of this smaller currency really loads off and it came mostly from heist over the course of the league so far very nice i think in one of our next videos we will have a look on all these divination cards we got um really masses uh, this on these are only the ones we own and we will see how we can get some money out of them okay see you then bye bye